Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Talked about this a little bit yesterday. No offense to homeless people, because homelessness is a serious thing. Uh, but I now call him Hobo Joe, uh, because Hobo Joe, uh, former vice president, longtime senator, uh, you know, says he's going to restore the soul of America. Well, you can't, you know, he, he's restoring the soul of America one billionaire at a time. Uh, he only has $9 million on hand. In a sane world, you could compete with $9 million in politics, but we live in a corrupt political system, so $9 million is really ch chump change compared to Bernie Sanders, who has $33 million uh, on hand for his campaign, compared to uh, Elizabeth Warren, who has $26 million uh, on hand. Joe Biden now is open for business with super PACs because there's really no enthusiasm. There's no grassroots support. Most of his money is being raised by billionaires and millionaires and billionaires, and you can't win a campaign that way. Joe Biden uh, doing this, Joe Biden doing this, uh, opening up the floodgates is basically a white flag. I cannot compete. And uh, Bernie Sanders has had some words about that. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Bernie! Bernie! So let's play uh, a clip of Joe Biden on 60 Minutes. Of course, 60 Minutes, the preeminent propaganda outlet of America, uh, is interviewing Joe Biden uh, this coming Sunday. Here's a short clip, and then Bernie's, Bernie talking about Joe Biden now enlisting and just begging for the help of his super PAC fat cats. This is a marathon. Yes. This is a marathon. You can look at the last campaign finance uh, filing. We looked at that. You have less than $9 million in the bank. Bernie Sanders has 30, nearly $34 million in the bank. Senator Warren has $26 million. How do you compete against that? I just flat beat them. <laughs> We're on course to do extremely well. I'm not, I'm not worried about being able to fund this campaign. Mm -hmm. I really am not, truly. Biden may not be worried about funding this campaign, but his campaign just reversed its self-imposed ban on super PAC money. And that has his opponents crying foul. Senator Elizabeth Warren saying that super PAC should have no place in the Democratic primary. Listen to Senator Sanders this afternoon in Iowa. You have heard Joe criticize me once or twice or 20 times because of my support for Medicare for all. All right. It's called democracy. I disagree with Joe. All right. I do not think a super PAC is healthy for American democracy. Bernie Sanders with the jab. An understated jab, but that's okay. He just had a heart attack. So let's, uh, let's not go crazy. But Bernie Sanders going after Joe Biden on, I mean, what do you call this? Open, openly embracing corruption. Openly embracing corruption. And it's kind of funny that Joe Biden is now openly embracing corruption because this isn't what he was saying uh, in 2016 when I think Joe Biden has a little case of the Trump Trumpism where he's just kind of lying very casually and almost like habitually. Here's Joe Biden in 2016. Tell me if something seems odd here with what Joe Biden is saying in 2016 that there are a lot of Democrats who are saying we've got to be more progressive in our thinking, we've got to be outspoken about it. You've got the Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden wing of the party, and then you've got the Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren hey, man, section I, of the party. If you take a look at my well, positions, how do you see my what's positions going are a hell of a lot closer to Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders on some of the economic positions. There, there isn't, I mean, I sat with Bernie, I'm the guy that told him, you shouldn't accept any money from a super PAC because people can't possibly trust you. How a middle class guy accept if you accept money? Uh, but here's the point. This is a false debate. I show up wherever I go. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, okay. So if you believe that Bernie Sanders decided not to use a super PAC because middle-class Joe Biden told him, don't do it. How could people trust you? How could the middle class trust you if you use a super PAC? If you believe that, then the tooth fairy is real, Santa is real, and I've got a big golden bridge to sell you. That is a Trump level lie of epic, epic proportions. That is absurd, absurd. 
Secondly, Joe Biden, for once, spoke the truth. How is the middle class going to trust you if you use a super PAC? Well, apparently, times are different. The proletariat doesn't trust Joe Biden. That's why they're not funding his campaign. So because he can't compete, because he's wasting money, reports say he's wasting money on private jets for his campaign and lavish hotels, because he can't compete, he's now open for business with the super PACs. So Joe Biden, shocker, not only is he full of it when he says in 2016 that Bernie Sanders, he told Bernie Sanders not to have a super PAC because middle class people won't trust him. But The Intercept now reports that the people who are backing these super PACs that Joe Biden is now welcoming with open arms are literally the ones who have been fighting against Bernie Sanders from the beginning, from The Intercept. Though Biden has pledged not to take contributions from registered lobbyists, the prohibition appears not to apply to big dollar organizers of his super PAC. Among the individuals involved with the effort are several lobbyists for leading corporations and foreign governments. Shocking. Longtime Biden supporter Larry Rasky, one of the people involved with the big money effort, is the founder of lobbying firm Rasky Partners, which is currently registered to lobby on behalf of Raytheon, Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, and the Republic of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, among other clients. Steve Scalle, a former Obama campaign strategist, is registered state lobbyist with Cardenas Partner, a Florida lobbying firm founded by former Jeb Bush advisor Al Cardenas. Oh, you can't make this up. Scalle's current list includes the Florida Hospital Association, JetBlue Airways, State Farm Insurance, Walt Disney Parks, AT&T, and the Associated Industries of Florida. What a hall of fame of progressive sources. As The Intercept has reported, despite Biden's promise to reject lobbyist money, his campaign launched with a fundraiser hosted at the home of Comcast chief lobbyist and his political action committee has a long record of accepting lobbyist cash. But here's the best part. Here's the best part. But this time may be different. Bernard Schwartz, a wealthy financier who has organized dinners with prominent centrist Democrats in order to prevent Bernie Sanders from gaining the Democratic nomination, is reportedly in talks to fund the new super PAC. Schwartz is known for deep-pocketed donations. In 2016 alone, Schwartz, through his foundation, gave $1 million to Third Way, that corrupt Wall Street-funded think tank, a centrist group backed by corporate donors that have vigorously opposed Medicare for All and other ideas centered on tackling income inequality. So basically, what you have here is Hobo Joe. He's broke, and now he's begging his sugar daddies in the financial industry to come save the day. And by the way, those sugar daddies are the ones that have been having private meetings with the who's who of the Democratic establishment, including uh, one the New York Times reported on months ago in New York City, including Neera Tandon, uh, uh, former Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, among others. They're the ones that have, have been, that, that have been meeting like a cabal throughout this primary to try and stop Bernie Sanders' donations and momentum. But the primary is not rigged against Bernie. But the primary is not rigged. You know what? If Joe Biden, if Joe Biden would just say, listen, I'm a moderate Democrat. I don't believe the government should be giving uh, away free things to, to the citizens. Uh, I believe in, you know, some tax credits, this and that. But overall, I don't think we need a revolution. I just think we need to get rid of Trump. If he wants to run on that, then let, run on that and see if you could get real support. But the truth is, Joe Biden is a candidate. He, as a candidate, he's running for president in 2019 when his body and his mind is still in 1985 to 1995. That's the time period Joe Biden is still stuck in. So Joe Biden is not, does not understand the total um, fervor against the establishment and against money in politics because he has been down with the corruption his entire career. That's why he doesn't care. 
That's why he's totally blowing off his campaign's pledge to be against super PACs. Because he knows he cannot win on ideas. The days of centrist neoliberals winning on the ideas is over. The country has moved left. And you could thank Bernie Sanders and his movement for that. So how do you compete in Joe Biden's mind? I need to enlist these totally out of touch, totally wealthy vultures like Bernard Schwartz to basically bury Iowa, bury New Hampshire, bury South Carolina, bury Nevada, bury California with hit ads on Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren too. I am happy to report that Bernie Sanders is not taking it lightly. In addition to his campaign coming out fiercely, Bernie's on it. This is a tweet. Joe Biden's campaign just gave the green light to his rich and powerful backers to form a super PAC. Will you rush a contribution to our campaign as a way of saying we will never allow Biden's super PAC to buy this race? Uh, and theirs is not me, us, shtick. Uh, campaign manager Fez Shakir in a statement yesterday. Joe Biden has spent his campaign promising elite donors that nothing will fundamentally change for them, and he has made clear to fossil fuel and pharmaceutical donors that he will be their ally, Fez said in a statement. As a result, he has had trouble generating significant grassroots support from Americans who are getting crushed by those same big donors. And so his supporters are suddenly begging for help from super PACs, even though they are vehicles for the kind of corporate corruption that the Democrats should be fighting to stop. Let's be clear. Super PACs exist for one reason and one reason only to help billionaires and corporations bankroll a presidential campaign with unlimited amounts of money in exchange for favors. Every Democratic candidate should forcefully reject any help from super PACs, and they should tell their supporters and surrogates to stop engaging with super PACs that aim to buy elections and undermine our democracy. To be fair, Elizabeth Warren did come out against Joe Biden uh, in embracing a super PAC as well. Whether she will be open to a super PAC if the general election nominee uh, to be determined. Because, you know, she's been a little all over the place. I'm not taking their money during the primary, but, you know, in the general election, I don't want to unilaterally disarm. Then she said, oh, just kidding. I'm not going to take their money in the general election either. Then she said, oh, just kidding. I won't take their money in the general election, but I will take, I will help the DNC get their money, which will then come back to me. So Elizabeth Warren's a whole different story. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Oh, oh, oh.